Today's review is of the Samsung 22F5000. Now this is a 22 inch TV that is LED backlit. Let's take a look at the back of the TV. On the left hand side you have your emergency power on power off button just in case your remote dies on you. You have your second HDMI port up here, you have some component inputs, you have your headphone or speaker output jack, you have your coaxial cable jack for your TV, you have your power plug and you have standard wall mounting inserts. On the right hand side of the TV you have two additional ports. You have an HDMI port up here and you have a USB port in case you're looking to connect your media directly to the TV. The remote's design is very typical of Samsung TVs. There's a lot going on here. However, on the positive side, most of the frequently used buttons such as the volume, the channel, the power, the source button are all well laid out and easy to use. The remote is also backlit so you can see all the buttons even in the dark. The TV also gives you a lot of flexibility and control when adjusting picture quality. For example, gives you three major picture modes, dynamic, standard and movie. It also gives you fine control over the backlight, contrast, brightness, sharpness, color and tint. The TV also gives you a lot of flexibility to ensure that your video fits the screen just right. When you hit the P size button on the remote, what you'll find is the screen fit mode. You'll also find the 16 by 9 aspect ratio mode. You will find the wide fit mode that fills the entire screen and the 4x3 aspect ratio mode. Now since this TV is HDMI enabled, you can connect it to a digital source such as a laptop, a tablet or a Blu-ray player with HDMI output. Now we're going to see how it performs when connected to a digital source, in this case a laptop playing a video from YouTube. As you can see, even with a digital source, the TV performs really well. The colors are excellent, the sound quality is very good, and it handles fast moving 1080p video very well. Now we've hooked the TV up to a DVD player just to show you how it handles an analog source. You know what, Paul, don't, don't worry about me. Worry about what you're gonna say to this parole officer. I mean, what are you gonna tell him? That you left my house, that you got your gang back together and for what? A high school dropout reunion? You recognize that car? Which car? The one that's been following us for the last couple of miles. That? Oh yeah, I know that car. That's a Mercedes S500. That is one sweet machine. It's an eight board. It comes in a 12, which is a beast. Lose him. What? Lose him. What do you mean lose him? Lose him. Lose that car? You can't lose him. Ah! So as you could probably tell, the picture quality was pretty smooth and the sound quality was excellent. Now just to show you how even the backlighting on this TV is, we're going to turn our studio lighting off. With the studio lighting turned off, you can actually see how even the backlighting on this TV is. There are no bright spots anywhere on the screen and the screen is very uniformly lit. 
The TV's base is also really well designed. The connection to the TV is very solid, the base is wide and should keep the TV pretty well planted. And overall, the Samsung 22F5000 is a great little TV. It performs really well, displays resolutions of up to 1080p and comes with an abundance of connectivity options. To watch our review of another 22 inch TV option from Philips, please click on the video link above. Please also subscribe to our channel if you found this video useful and once again, thank you very much for watching.